say the intense heat is having an impact on local festivals. Nine News reporter Bryce Onslinger is live in Edgewood, where the first night of the St. Pius Festival is underway. Bryce? Well, that's right. Not only is the festival underway, but this little water race is underway, the water cannon race. And uh, as you know, these festivals are a major fundraiser for churches like St. Pius, but things are made a little more difficult when the weather is hot and it's a little bit harder for kids to have so much fun. You didn't need the church sign to tell you that it was hot on day one of the St. Pius Parish Festival. Richard Kalb is one of the many festival workers dealing with the heat. Got a wet rag to keep around my neck, got plenty of Gatorade in a big five gallon water jug to keep me cool and hydrated so that way I don't roast too bad out here. Operating rides is tough, but what about frying donuts on a day like today? It's about 375 degrees. The oil is hot and so is the sun, but... You know, life has to go on. And the festival will go on despite record temperatures. Some changes have been made to help festival goers deal with the hot and humid weather. A misting station was brought in and more air conditioned areas of the church are open to the public. Still, organizers can't help but wonder if the heat will bring down attendance. You have to think about it, you know, rain hurts, hot weather hurts, you know, it's never going to be perfect. So you hope people will come out anyway and support the festival. And we're, we're planning on it, we're working as if they're going to. Uh, our thought is probably that they're going to come a little bit later. I think we can probably take money to get dunked today. Not all jobs are tough in these extreme conditions. The dunk booth is expected to be a popular spot all weekend. Are you going to actually have to fall in the water or you're... No, I'm going to make Justin fall in the water. You sure so, you don't want to? I might by the end of the evening, but I think people are lined up to fall in the water. All right, so we're back out here, the water gun game, and as uh, the gentleman mentioned, the attendance has picked up as we've gotten into the darker hours. Things cooled off just a little bit, and these kids hoping to win one of these stuffed animals. The festival runs tonight until midnight, opens tomorrow at 6, and then on Sunday again at 5. Bryce Onslinger, 9 News, live in Edgewood. Bryce, I think you're lucky so far you haven't got a cooling blast of water. Thanks for that report. We have new information.